Hello, my name is Sidney Katz and I have had the honor of being the mayor of the greatest city in the world, Gaithersburg, Maryland, for the last 15 years. I have served on numerous committees, the Planning Commission, and was on the City Council for 20 years. I'm a past president of both the Montgomery County Chapter of the Maryland Municipal League, as well as a past president for the State of Maryland. I'm honored to be in the Maryland Municipal League Hall of Fame. I've lived in Gaithersburg my entire life, attended local schools, and graduated from the University of Maryland. My wife Sally and I have raised two daughters who graduated from Quince Orchard High School. The City Council and I have worked together to keep our city debt free and have one of the lowest tax rates in our area. At the same time, we are proud to provide excellent city services that so many enjoy. We have received numerous awards and recognition over the years. I'd like to individually list them, but we are limited to only 250 words for this statement. We continue to work with all levels of government and agencies to address our concerns. With your assistance, we've been able to achieve much, but our work is still far from complete. I sincerely appreciate your allowing me to be mayor, and I ask that you please vote for Sidney Katz for mayor on Tuesday, November 5th. Thank you. Hello, my name is Henry Marafa, and I'm proud and honored to say I'm going to run for my sixth term on the City Council of Gaithersburg, the greatest city in the country. It's been an honor making this city one of the best cities to work, live, and play, and raise your kids. We're rated in the top 20 cities across the country. Some of the projects that I've worked on that have caused that to happen are the Kentlands and Lakelands, great communities, the Saybrook, the Quince Orchard Park, um, downtown, Old Town. We've done some nice things there. And then we have the Activity Center with its great swimming complex, its skate park, its miniature golf. We also have done Washingtonian Rio with the restaurants and shops where people go every day, every night and enjoy themselves. They can work there, they can play there, and they can entertain themselves there. Uh, over the years, I have been very active in doing some things that have helped the city on a national basis. I've been very active with the Maryland Municipal League. I've been very active with the National League of Cities, where I chaired their Economic Development Committee. I sat on their Board of Directors, and I was on their Immigration Task Force. Presently, I'm on their Advisory Council, and I've testified twice on Capitol Hill on situations that affected all the cities in the country, but more importantly, in, they've infected Gaithersburg in a positive way. I have worked to change the rules for restaurants. I have worked on various projects that uh, as we go forward to help traffic and help the schools in the city. The two things that we're working on now, our new big projects is Crown Farm and the Watkins Mill Parklands area. Those are gonna be great communities with town centers, uh, residential, commercial uh, areas that will be second to none. It, looking forward to it. And part of that will be a new interchange over I-270, which will relieve traffic and allow traffic to get in. We are also working very diligently to get the, um, the new transit way that will go from Shady Grove up into Clarksburg. That will relieve traffic. So I just want you to come out, vote for me, support this city, as we move forward in the next four years. Thank you. Hello, I'm Michael Sesma. It's been an honor and privilege to serve you as a member of the Gaithersburg City Council, and I'm very appreciative of your support. As a member of the City Council, I focused on ensuring the quality of life that makes Gaithersburg a great American city, while leading efforts to position Gaithersburg for the opportunities and challenges of a revived and growing economy in the city, county, and state. I've acted to promote the vital interests of residents and families while pursuing innovative approaches to support, retain, and attract businesses and employers to build a sustainable economy that makes Gaithersburg a residential and business destination. This requires a commitment to creative and realistic solutions, not grandstanding. It requires a belief in transparent, open, and common sense government that works for everyone. It requires an open mind, a readiness to listen, and careful judgment. These are the commitments I've brought since my election to the City Council and what I promise will continue when I am reelected. 
I will continue to work to develop a comprehensive strategy to stimulate and reward business investments that enhance economic vitality and diversity, to innovate, create, and implement programs that promote environmental protection, energy conservation, and sustainability, and to refine policies and practices to maintain and strengthen the city as an exceptional place for families to live, work, learn, and play. The details of my platform can be found at votesesma.com. I ask for your vote on November 5th so that I can continue to provide responsive and responsible leadership as a member of the Gaithersburg City Council. Thank you.